देखिए अवान साहब अवान साहब मैं देखिए प्लीज मैं उनको भी रोका था और मैं आपको भी रोकूंगा मैं कहीं पे नहीं जाऊंगा मैं रियलिटी पे जाऊंगा ये कानून आ गया अब अगली दफा कोई केस लिया हम वो वाला भी देख लें मैं ओपिनियंस कभी नहीं दूंगा आप हमारे या तो एडवाइजरी जूरिजिक्शन इस्तेमाल कीजिए हम ऐसे आपको ओपिनियंस नहीं देंगे आपका काम है अपनी सरकार अपनी गवर्नमेंट को ओपिनियन देना हमारा काम है उसको कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनैलिटी वैलिडिटी आप देखें खत्म हम आपके ऊपर मफरूजे नहीं डालना चाहते हैं कि क्या होगा भाई हमें क्या पता क्या होगा जब आएगा हम देख लेंगे बहुत सारी चीजें आप कर लें प्लीज इस कानून पे और आगे बढ़ा लें बात को क्योंकि हम देखें कोर्ट आप समझ नहीं रहे हैं इसकी अहमियत हम लोग बैठ के इधर एयर कंडीशन का फंड में बैठ रहे हैं लोग कोई जेल में मर रहा है किसी का केस है मेरी तो आ, मुझे तकलीफ हो रही है सुबह से 57 सिक्स है कोई 57,000 है अब हम छोड़ के जाएंगे डेढ़ और बढ़ जाएंगे कल डेढ़ सौ और बढ़ जाएंगे आप चला लें एक महीना केस हमें क्या फर्क पड़ता है फर्क इसलिए पड़ता है क्योंकि हम तफा ले रहे हैं इस गरीब आवाम से एक काम करने के लिए कि उनके केसेस का फैसला कर लें खत्म ये बहुत अच्छी डिबेट है जाके हाई कोर्ट में कर लें चैलेंज वो आ जाएगा जजमेंट नंबर एंटी फोर में हम बड़े पूरे पार्स के साथ बैठ के इसको देख लेंगे आपको पता है आज बेंच बनाने का क्या इशू था इसके बावजूद के स्टेज चल रहा है मैंने अपने दो सीनियर कलीग से पूछा कि मैं ये करने जा रहा हूँ दो स्टेज चल रहा है अलग बात है आइन कानून पर स्टेज चल रहा है फिर भी के बात को आगे बढ़ा के किसी खत्म कर लेना सरा ले कानून को ये तर्क कर दें मगर आप अपने दलाइल दें हम उसका सुन लेंगे और फैसला कर लेंगे कोई इख्तलाफ करेगा कोई नहीं करेगा उनकी मर्जी है हमें आपको परसुएट करने की कोई जरूरत नहीं आप हमें परसुएट कर लीजिए और सवाल का जवाब नहीं देना चाहते मत दीजिए हम आपके खिलाफ कर लेंगे फैसला I I'm not I, I'm not indulging in conjectures. Hello. I'm asking you a question in order to understand the principles that you are saying and arguing and submitting before the court. Hello. I'm not in, engaging in theoretical argument. Hello. I'm Please. trying to understand the basis on which you are defending the Hello. constitutionality Hello. of this law. Aapka sawal. So therefore Please. my question stands. Tomorrow if parliament were to make this uh, a law and say let it go back to the chief justice in his sole capacity so that that is within the parliament's competence my lord if that is so let it be happens yes no question yes, not any this is question of the general you accept that absolutely my lord absolutely let it be parliament's competence and if my if i may say I'm so sorry, my lord you have, you my lord have, i have provided assistance i i i, I have uh, uh, you know as, as attorney general ji yes yes, yes. Okay. which would have included when and how the, where and how the meetings to be were to be held and the constitution of benches etc but that that never happened because the law was uh, suspended or well, the bill was suspended uh, before it became an act which was also if i may say so with regret for the first uh, my lord uh, this is exactly what under subsection 2 the committee is to do uh, as the first so we will regulate through rules they will regulate this act through rules We my lord in, 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 the committee committee will determine its procedure much the way uh, the supreme judicial council's procedure has also been made it's not as i don't know what their statute of relevance what, what their status is as an sro as a rule or whatever they call it but uh, the, the committee can determine its procedure it be a procedure of the committee or uh, 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 for the purpose of its functioning now section 3 my lord section 3 is exercise of original jurisdiction by the supreme court now there was a question which was raised and which was asked uh, uh, when the petitioners were arguing 
that uh, the committee is to first see whether the matter is uh, it is to be it is it has to come before the committee to determine if there is a question of public importance with reference to enforcement of fundamental rights and if the committee thinks so only then it will uh, constitute a bench and there was a question uh, raised from the bench that uh, would this not be an administrative power controlling a judicial function and uh, my response to that, my lords, is that uh, if it is determined, it is held, that it is an administrative function and it cannot be performed in a manner to control judicial powers, then my lords would surely come to the conclusion that this court will never exercise suomoto powers either because in, while exercising suomoto powers, it is either previously it was the Chief Justice who they first determined whether the matter was of public importance and relatable to enforcement of fundamental and then constitute a bench. This is this tension which my Lord had but, also while authoring but judgment, this rendering judgment. Uh, this, this doesn't this answer the question whether the threshold of 184.3 is to be decided by the committee as, it, as this law suggests or whether it is the function of the court, whether it's a judicial power. That's the fundamental question that, is this not a judicial power? Because there is a threshold, you say so yourself that there is a threshold. So how can a committee be deciding it? And again it goes to the fact that if the committee decides that this is, doesn't meet the threshold, then the person that has filed the petition, they can't challenge that decision? I, my no, question there's, is there's a distinction between Leonard what Attorney is filed General, under 184 General, General, that's why, my, my question is if the Chief Justice just one person as a master of the roster could decide whether to take a suo moto or not why not a committee yes and that is why but my response that was is that further if providing guarantees and my only question is are we not accountable to the litigants Absolutely. The parliament is the representative of the litigants. Absolutely. If they want to change our procedure because they are not satisfied with our internal or 